Welcome to this tutorial we are going to be doing today on the structure of compact bone and learning how to name and distinguish the structures of it. So if we have a look on the screen here we have a zoomed in portion of the long bone along with a few other structures that we'll talk about along the way. And I'll just point out this area that I've highlighted in green is actually spongy bone and we won't be focusing on that in this video. So just everything in the uh, pink outline is our compact bone. And the first thing we want to know about our compact bone is that it has a functional unit from which it is built. Just like we could say that bricks are the functional units of a house. And this functional unit is called the osteon. And I'm just outlining the osteons here. And we can also see a uh, zoomed in osteon right here. So it's a long cylinder of compact bone and it's going to run parallel to the long axis. Now this osteon will also sometimes be called a haversion system and that's because of the haversion canal in the middle which we'll talk about in just a second here. But first thing, it runs parallel to the long axis of the bone. So it's going to run in this direction right here. So an osteon is going to run parallel to the direction of the bone. But the osteon itself is also composed of several smaller features. The first of which being the lamella plates or lamella are rings or tubes. And I'm just going to show them here. Now we can see one lamella ring a second lamella ring here, and a third lamella ring. And there may be uh, more than three, well actually there'll quite often be uh, many more than three rings, but just for illustration that's what we have here. And collectively they're referred to as the lamellae of the osteon. So the lamellae of the osteon are those rings of compact bone in between it. And the distinct feature of these lamellae is that they have collagen fibers within them, within the uh, compact bone matrix itself. And these collagen fibers are going to run in separate directions in each lamella plate. So in one lamella plate, they'll run uh, completely in one direction, which I'll uh, show up here on the screen. And in the next lamella plate, they'll run in a opposing direction. So we can see them running in one direction here, these collagen fibers. And in the next lamella plate, they're running in a separate direction. This feature of the uh, collagen fibers running in separate directions to each other in each lamella plate is going to give the osteon uh, great uh, torsion uh, strength or resistance to the stress of torsion or twisting forces. And this is why the uh, osteons are sometimes referred to as twister resistors. So you can remember that term, twister resistor. And the next part of the osteon that we're going to look at is our haversion canal, or the central canal. And this is why we sometimes call the osteon the haversion system. And the haversion canal is at the center of each osteon. And I'm just going to outline a couple so we can see it here. This is a, a central canal or a haversion canal here and a couple here as well. And the reason we have these central canals is so that we can allow the passage of blood vessels and nerves through these osteons because we have live tissue and live cells all throughout our bones so we need to be able to uh, supply them with nutrients and oxygen as well. Within our haversion canal, we have something called a Volkmann's canal or a perforating canal. That's just going to be a small canal that will branch off the haversion uh, canal in a right angle. So I'll show it here. So a Volkmann canal will be right there and another Volkmann canal or perforating canal right here. And that's going to allow the connection of all of these haversion systems. And we need to be able to connect them so that we can drain wastes and also get nutrients to the medullary cavity or the 
center portion of our long bones as well. Now something that often gets confused with the lamellae of the osteons is the lacunae. Now the lacunae I'm going to outline here and they're points in between our lamella plates that are empty spaces in which we have osteocytes. So this empty space in which we house an osteocyte is called a lacunae. So I'll just put the osteocytes in green here. Now if we remembered back to our uh, bone cell video, we said osteocytes were the cells that were going to be regulating uh, the bone or regulating the existing bone. So when we were building that original bone, some of the osteoblasts that were building and depositing bone matrix were getting trapped in that space and then differentiating into osteocytes and getting caught in that lacunae. Now these osteocytes being live cells are also going to have their own cellular waste and that's why we have these little uh, tunnels in between the lacunae called the canaliculi. And the canaliculi are going to connect all of our lacunae and form a, a system in which the outer lamella plates can uh, branch off and uh, deliver their waste or nutrient to the haversion canal in the middle. So we can see all of the canaliculi here forming a network between all of the lacunae and osteocytes for nutrient delivery and waste removal. And I'll just point out one more time to finish up this video that at the center of this haversion system we have an artery, a vein, and also nervous tissue. Our artery in red, our vein in the blue, and the nerve in yellow. And that covers up everything that we'll need to know about the structure of our compact bone. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.